Imagine finding out your 21-year-old son was dropped off at the hospital in grave condition. That recently happened to a family in Buffalo. And then came the agonizing debate between two parents to keep him on life support or to take him off it. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter takes us through the final days of Demer Gordon's life. And I thought that I would be seeing my son maybe hurt some type of way that was very bad. But when I got there, I see my son has absolutely no trauma, and I, they can't explain to me why he's lifeless. Mr. Somerville got a call from his son's mother two weeks ago, saying their child was declared medically dead at ECMC. Regina Gordon Sales thought that would be the hardest call she'd have to make until she realized her son's father didn't agree that he should be taken off life support. I was so confused why I needed a, another consent. The problem is, since their son Demer was 21, neither could legally tell health care providers what should happen next. The issue with these cases is not just the fact that they're common, but they're very painful for the family. They're very traumatic for the family. Elder law attorney Jean Harris says these cases come up more than lawyers would like. A judge has to step in to appoint a proxy under state law. In my religion and my ethics, I can't have it on my conscience to pull the plug and stop someone's heartbeat. That is in essence murder. They showed me the exam that he had no oxygen whatsoever on the brain. Uh, there's, there's no coming back. My, my son is pronounced dead. Somerville says doctors only found marijuana in his son's system. He demanded further investigation. But Demare's mother says a friend who saw him in his last moments told her the truth about that night. Demare, he got a hold of some fentanyl. And I don't know if my baby was laced. I don't know if he took it by himself. But it has to do with it, no. Demare was brought to ECMC by a good Samaritan who found him on the side of the road. And I was told when it happened, my son went into an attack mode. He dropped. They put him on the porch because they don't want to be charged with it. Over a week after he was first brought to ECMC, a judge got involved in this case. According to a source, that judge made the decision last Thursday to keep Demer on life support for at least another week. He has a heartbeat who's that's been beating right now that's independent of any of these machines. If he's going to be a vegetable, he might carry it. I'm going to be there right by my baby as he decompose. It's going to break me down even more as he break down, but I'm going to be right there. I'm going to be right there. <laughs> And that story came to an end last week when Demare's heartbeat stopped beating at the hospital on Friday. Now his mom needs help sending him home. There's a link on our website where you can go to donate. In the newsroom, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.